Speaker, let me start. And I really thank Honorable T.J. Kajuang. This is a current question. Because Nairobi Rivers is a currency, an important and a priority for this government and for the president. Mr. Speaker, as you may be aware, the president recently launched a groundbreaking and ambitious climate resilience service program called Climate Works, aimed at ecological restoration of our urban rivers, mainly and starting with the Nairobi rivers, while we still maintain public infrastructure, housing through labor intensive and sustainable public works. So, the speaker, I will have another day to talk about this climate works. It contains a lot. It's about Nairobi River, regeneration, restoration, the pavements, the riparian area, how uh, uh, the labor intensive in terms of the settlements, making sure some roads are done, lightning is done, so it's a, it's a huge program of the government under the leader, able leadership of the president. So the initial phase of this climate, climate works started yesterday, Mr. Speaker, here in Nairobi County, along the Nairobi River. In its first phase, 20,000 young people of Nairobi from 42 villages have been onboarded. The first 10,000 cohort started work yesterday. Mr. Speaker, building on this foundation, we will extend the program to four other major cities, Kisumu, Mombasa, Eldoret, and Nakuru in the next few months. And another additional 40,000 youth will be engaged, with the 10,000 of them allocated in other areas of Nairobi starting early November. In December, Mr. Speaker, because of equity, this climate works will be rolled out across all the remaining 47 counties, embodying close to about 139,909 young people to ensure full national participation and impact. Honorable Speaker, my ministry is implementing other initiatives to deal with the pollution issues in our, in our main urban rivers. The National Environmental Management Authority initiated that, such a program called Urban Rivers Regeneration Program 2019 to 2024 for restoration and sustainable management of rivers within urban areas such as Nairobi, Kisumu, Eldoret, Nakuru, which face very serious and critical environmental challenges due to pollution, encroachment, and misuse. The following, Mr. Speaker, have been identified as the root causes of pollution in Nairobi. And many people, many leaders, many ministers shied away, but I will not shy away. I will not. And I want Honorable TJ to listen to me. The informal settlements, the people you represent, their percentage in terms of polluting. The story in town is the informal settlements are polluting Nairobi River. That's a fallacy. It's less than 1%. They even don't have garbage. They have nothing to throw. What they eat is very little. The garbage comes from the middle class. The biggest polluters of Nairobi River, and they must listen to me, and NEMA has mapped out 145 industries, factories, slaughterhouses, apartments, who discharge their affluent to Nairobi River. We have, and I have directed, the DG NEMA is sitting here. 
the laws that this house has passed, he must enforce it. He has no choice. Mamo, a eh, mamo must enforce. He either enforce or he leaves the job. You either shape in or shape out. So he has written restoration orders last week. So industries are the ones who are polluting Nairobi River. Number two, the greatest polluters, and the president has spoken to them, is Nairobi Water and Sewerage Company. It is Adi Water and Sewerage Company. The president has spoken to the two CEOs. Their manholes discharge raw sewage to, into Nairobi River. In fact, we don't have a river. We have a sewage. The third and largest group that discharge that destroy Nairobi River are the dam sites. Along the 47 kilometer from Kikuyu constituency to Thwake Dam in Makweni, there are thousands of dam sites. On Sunday, trucks were in Mukuru Kwa Jenga. Trucks carrying garbage, discharging on the river. And I have told the governor of Nairobi, he must remove dam sites along Nairobi River. And we are going to call to order the companies that he has contracted who carry garbage and the private ones that come to our homes, even including members of parliament. We will sit with them. Mr. Speaker, the biggest problem in our country in terms of environmental challenge is we devolved it. Waste management is devolved. No, pollution is devolved. Zoning is devolved. No county today in our country can tell you we have this dump site. You have seen trucks, Mr. Speaker, as you drive behind them, they are, the, 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 the garbage is falling. We will introduce very strict measures. So dump sites is another pollution. Solid waste goes into the river, Mr. Speaker. Informal settlement, very little. If you allow me, Mr. Speaker, just to make a joke, the guy who is in the, in the, in the informal settlement, he cleans his plate, even doesn't need to wash it. The food he has is very little. So what is he going to throw away? The people who throw garbage, who have huge garbage, is the middle class and the industries, and then they blame informal settlements. Mr. Speaker, the other group is those who build or encroach on the riparian part of. When I saw the question from Honorable Kajuang, I was very happy. Because it will give me an opportunity to address from the floor of this house. This 100, I have written to capture and I have written to Kenya Association of Manufacturers with all these big companies, Mr. Speaker, big companies are dumping their waste, their effluent. The law allows them, MCA law allows them that they must provide how their effluent is discharged. Let me accept it. Somebody somewhere failed because of corruption, because of greed, nobody wanted to protect the environment. Neymar had the teeth. This DG has transferred a number of people. But they got to big people and they were being returned. All the Neymar officials in the city are transferred, all of them, 
including the county director who was very had very powerful connections Michuki I read his notes the late Michuki he had a good vision Mzee Moi when he started umumonyoko wa udongo people used to laugh at him if we could have picked from where he left today Kenya our forest cover which is 10.3 percent could have been 35 percent the speaker Ethiopia our neighbor has done 36 billion tree growing in 10 years so far the speaker we have done 451 million every minister has a county and I am ready to work with every member here to give you the seedlings to work with Kefri and, and, and KFS. The speaker, where you come from, you have seen what UHNCR. UHNCR, the speaker, and I want you to support me, he is a global UN entity to take care of the interests of refugees. They must provide an alternative energy source. They have cut all the trees over the years. I have told the UHNCR uh, country director, it will not be business as usual. I will go with you to the DAP. And I told them I have the backing of all the members of parliament from that area. They're even killing elephants. I mean, they're killing giraffes and sell them. Together, all of us must protect. So, Honorable TJ, I have told you who is polluting, and we will deal with them. What are we doing about it? We are removing all dam sites and structures along the riparian land. Honorable TJ, help us on this Nairobi River regeneration. We lost 42 people during the floods. We are not ready to lose any other life. We are not ready. The Madara River, the Ngong River, Honorable Member for Madare lost a lot of people. We must bite the bullet. The president is ready. The government is ready. We are committed. Kenya is the capital of UNEP. We have a green constitution. We must have Nairobi River like the Thames River. At one time, the Thames River was a sludge. Today, the Thames River is a great transport hub in London. In addition to this intervention, Nairobi River Commission was established by His Excellency. The story of it, I think the Honorable Member has my answer. He has a second question to outline the number of facilities along the Nairobi River that discharge affluent. I think I've answered. NEMA has conducted inspection to identify the illegal discharging along the uh, riparian out of the 145 facilities which we have mapped, 101 facilities have been listed by NEMA as having compliance issues because they don't have the required discharge according to the law. I have attached the list. I have nothing to hide. Yes, even the banks, I have sat with the banks, they have a sustainability uh, obligation, KCB, equity. If they are giving credit to a company, to a factory that is destroying the environment, even that sustainability of that company will be in question. So about 101, we have slaughterhouses who are discharging raw affluent to Nairobi River. Anema will undertake compliance evaluation through inspection. Question three, Mr. Speaker, was uh, Honorable TJ has asked our indulgence to state the measures that we have put in place. And I think I've already put it. But let me come to what are we doing about pollution control and waste water management? The Speaker, religious groups and those who run clubs some of them are running clubs under a tent. 
like in Kitengela. The music that they play can even disturb a family five kilometers. Even our citizens, when they are celebrating a graduation or a birthday, they must comply with the law. They must. You can't bring all your friends because your son is graduating and then you play music the whole night. Some, some people have sick people. Some have young children. Some people are tired, they want to sleep early. So speaker, I am a victim. This weekend in my own estate. But because uh, I didn't want uh, to be accused of using my powers, I wrote a small note to the chairman of our estate and I told him, this is against the law. Please, by 10 o'clock, reduce. Noise pollution. Nema partnered. Nema has the powers. They have a police, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, there's something this house has given us under regulation. It's called extended producer responsibility enforcement. That if, for example, a bottle of Coca Cola or a packet of Brookside is found along Nairobi River, that company, under extended producer responsibility, they must come and clean that river. NEMA must issue that restoration order. And that's why, Mr. Speaker, during the finance bill, one of the biggest multinational companies was against the eco levy. Why was that company against the eco levy? Because their franchise in Kenya, when their packets or their bottles are found along Nairobi River, and NEMA uses the extended producer responsibility, that responsibility goes to the owner of the brand, who is a multinational. And they came, I, I was watching, they come before the finance committee. They don't want to take responsibility. So Mr. Speaker, when the restoration support bill come next month or next year, that will be used to protect the environment, our ecosystem, I really want to ask colleagues here to support that bill and to make it even more punitive. Honorable Speaker, I think on noise pollution, it's becoming a very, very serious issue. So restoration order, sustainable waste management, the law is there of 2022. This house has enacted it. It aims to promote a circular economy in waste management, such as segregation of waste at source. In your homes, in the next few months, I will gazette the corded, where in your homes you must have a waste bin for the waste, for the wet waste, for the organic, and for the dry. The vehicles that will carry must carry separately. And when they take it to Dandora Dam site, there must be different areas for different waste. For the dry one, the young people can use it for recycling. For the organic can be used even for manure. Our public transport system must have waste bins, Mr. Speaker. That when, if you eat a banana, you don't throw it from the window. So public transport owners must provide. And so, Mr. Speaker, all this, we will enforce the noise pollution, we will enforce those who are uh, uh, dumping a fluent to Nairobi River. When we deal with them, please don't call me. Because uh, you will call me, it is my friend, it is uh, somebody who supported me. <clears throat> Let us, all of us together, and I really want to indulge this house. I really want to endorse the leadership of Kenya is sitting here. Please, let us be remembered for conserving our environment. 
Let us be remembered for the fourth preamble of our constitution that says we must protect, preserve the environment for the current generation and the future generations. The framers of the uh, Honorable Speaker was part of the constitution making. The framers of our constitution, I had a chat with the judges of the environment and land courts. They totally agree with me. They said, up to the Chief Justice, let us, all of us, citizens, make sure. But Nairobi members of parliament, majority are sitting here, my final shot. Please, help me and the president and the multi-agency team. There was a question why uh, I think, uh, Honorable, why KDF, 